My name is Aisha Rimi, and I'm the Executive Secretary, CEO of Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission. I have with me Mr. James Akwada. Let him introduce himself. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Thank you, sir. No, no problem, madam. Good afternoon, my honorable... Oh, you want to yield your introduction to her to help you? <laughs> Speak to the microphone. Just As the only woman, sir, so I think he wants to give me that. <laughs> <laughs> No, we also have women. I don't know why they are not here today. We do. <laughs> I'm affirming that we do. We have two strong women here. One of them is a professor. <laughs> oh, we have three, actually. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, my honorable chairman and other members of the honorable committee. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon, Honorable Chairman and then, uh, other members of our uh, committee. My name is Mr. James Akwada, the Director of Finance of Nigeria Investment Promotion Commission. Thank you, sir. Honorable Chairman, distinguished members, my name is Umar Bello, Director of Internal Audit. My, oh, uh, Daddy, we didn't hear, I didn't hear you. Don't let me say we. <laughs> Maybe others heard. I am Umar Bello, Director of Internal Audit. Chairman, Honorable Members, my name is Joseph Alta, Principal Accountant. So, Madam, you are here with regards to Remeter investigation into alleged revenue leakages. Um, we have your submission. And I've been advised by the secretary that you actually submitted on time, which is uh, very good. I trust women when they are in charge, they are in charge very well. Yes, we would like you to adopt your document and just give us the synopsis of your collections on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria using the Remeter platform. So you can go ahead. Oh, please, uh, you need to be on oath. I thought you had. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, Aisha Rimi. Do solemnly swear on that the evidence I shall give before the committee and all the documents that I will present before the committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. We were only hearing the woman. Others are not... Are not. It's, a, it's our month, that's why. It's women's month. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately you can't do it on their behalf. Did they? Yes. Oh, okay, that's fine then. I don't want to be sure everybody did. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Welcome. Received a request to comply with an investigation into revenue leakages through the remitter platform for the period 2015 to 2022. All documents requested by, uh, by the committee, I, I believe, were in substantial compliance and we submitted before, on or before the um, date, the prescribed date. I have to apologize uh, to the honorable members for my inability to appear the last time because I was out of the country. This is the nature of the job. And sometimes we're called upon to travel at short notice. So I apologize and thank you for deferring or adjourning it to today. I, so, I hope you brought back investment from your trip. So it's a work in progress, but we're on it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. All right. So um, like I was saying, um, honorable members, we are, I believe, substa in substantial compliance with the request. We have filed all the documents that have been requested for, including receipts, remittances, audited accounts for the entire period. Um, for the period 2015 to 2022, the Commission generated uh, approximately 14.8 billion Naira, and of which 7.1 billion was remitted to, um, to the federal government accounts through the Consolidated Revenue Fund. 7.131-580-993.09, so about 50% of that. I think in the bundle sites on pages 16 and 17 to 38. Like I was saying, uh, Honorable Chair, all Treasury receipts audited accounts and performance reports are contained in this bundle. Yes, sir.
But are you done? Uh, I, I believe so, sir, unless you have specific questions. But like I was saying, sir. Have oh, you given us the year by year? Oh, if you I would just like... ask you to, yeah, that's the summary of your presentation. Okay, sir. From your own document. Don't rely on this. This is ours. No, I was reading this one, sir. Yes, please. So it, go ahead. Okay, just give okay, us uh, the summary of your, mm -hmm. your collections. Okay, sir. So in 2015, sir, it was. And I will read them. Should I read the figure or go like 302102780.50? In 2016, it was 296. 925262.40 in 2017 292998500 well that method is not wrong but there's a better method it's because i had earlier on said there was this issue of 15000 150000 so to avoid all of that i thought it was better to and because you are a lawyer like me we are not used to figures don't worry <laughs> just that this one now is a is that 29? Okay. 20, uh, uh, 29,299,850. 2, 299,850. That's for which year? That was for 2017, sir. And I believe I'm told that the reason for that was there was, uh, there was a suspension of pioneers. Just, just continue. Yes, sir. Okay. In 2018, it was 5,590,000. 501,980 and 68 COBOL. In 2019, 1 billion, 523 million, 583,000 and 26 Naira and 54 COBOL. In 2020, 3 billion and 62 million, no, 62 million, 182,203 uh, Naira and 14 COBOL. In 2021, 1,924,161, no, 124 million, I apologize, 161,863.15 COBOL. In 2022, 2,072,084,373.51 COBOL. And the total was, uh, over the period says, 14,809,841,339.92 COBOL, of which, Honorable Chair, 7,131,580,993.09 COBOL was remitted to the Consolidated Revenue Fund. And there is a summary on page 16, I'm told. Honorable colleagues, uh, that's the presentation from the Investment Promotion Commission. Your questions, observations, Mama. comments. Yes, sir, Honorable Fatima. Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Yeah, Madam, uh, given the fact that there were so many discrepancies in your IGR generated figures between the remitter and uh, your own figure, as shown uh, at the table above, I mean on the screen, can you please give us the transaction listing? Transaction listing containing the names of payers, amount, purpose, purpose of transaction date, and all the necessary uh, uh, form numbers or transaction numbers that contains in this your claim the uh, claim the figure. That's my question. My you can take note of the questions so that you take them as a batch. So that's one. We'll just call other colleagues and then they will uh, raise their questions of observation. Yes, please, Honorable Kero. Madam. Please, can you tell this committee why your total IGR generated from 2015 to 2020 different from remitter by 2 billion, NIPC 14 billion, 14.8 billion, remitter 16.9 billion, then audited 15 billion. Please. 
Thank you, Honorable. Yeah. Honorable colleague, any other one? Um, Honorable Maru Fadibayo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable colleague. Madam, I hope you got the last question. I, th I thought you were. Madam. Hey, uh, yes, I did. Just uh, a moment, uh, Honorable. He, he was asking why there was a substantial difference between the figures. Excellent. Yes, but, yes. Oh, which okay. is an extension of the first question. All right. Yes, sir. Madam, can you speak to why you failed to submit as and when due the audited account of which the late submission of the audited, audited account of 2021 you are expected to submit on or before 31st of May. So the same thing with 2022, 23, and 24, which ran contrary to the financial regulation of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Can you furnish this honorable committee why you Thank why you. delayed in the submission of your audited account? Thank you, honorable colleague. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, Madam, thank you very much for your submission. Um, I'll refer you to page 265 of your submission. Are you there, ma'am? Yeah, tables, item number six. And number three of that, you have 80% operating surplus to CRF, Consolidated uh, Revenue. That was 2022. Has that amount been paid to that um, account? Can you give us a confirmation of that? That is one. Number two, how much is NIPC owing the federal government of Nigeria in terms of surplus is supposed to be paid to them till date? And why has that not been paid? And if they have, we need proof of such payments. Thank you. Yes, I yeah, thank you very much, Mr. I hope they are not becoming too many for no, you. No, no, but if, if I we could ask him to repeat the last question, the last please. Question, the last question. Yes, please. Microphone, sir. Microphone. Madam, how much in terms of remittance or remittances is NIPC supposed to have paid to the federal government coffers, as you have stated in the 2022 account? You give us the amount. Are uh, those amounts being remitted as at when due? If they are, we will need proof. If they have not been remitted, we will need reasons for why they have not. Thank you. She's a very, uh, this woman is a, she can take 100 questions. Uh, thank you, Mr. You need, to, you, need, you need to read her resume and you know that. Uh, thank, thank you thank for that much of confidence, sir. Yes, madam. <laughs> I can see where two lawyers talk, yes. and uh, I can see where my share must be lost to now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, madam, I want to direct this my question to the director of finance. Director of finance, are you familiar with the IPS uh, regulation that is the uh, International Public uh, Sector Accounting Standard? You are familiar with it? And is this based on that one that repair this your accounting system? Yeah. Are you also aware? The policy, what the standard says concerning the land, uh, the land and uh, building, you are aware of that? That those two items should not be locked together? But when you look at the foundations of this, your total statement, you lump the land and building together, which is contrary to the policy and principle of IPAs. That's one, Mr. Chairman. The second one, I also aware that that principle and policies say that the land should not be depreciated. When you also look at the standard on which you base this your balance sheet, you also allow for 2% depreciation 
contrary to the policies of that sectors, of their county policy. That's my two questions, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And then finally, Anabuino um, Agarba. Uh, all, all right, so you are the final. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I don't want us to have too many. My so let's just fellow take, colleagues, uh, I'm Right Honorable Uno Garba, a member batch. representing Yama to the federal constituency from Gombe State. Mr. Chairman, with your leave, let me ask my sister. In the executive summary, point of order, your sister. Your sister. But you must thank recuse you, yourself. You, is, uh, uh, you are protected, honorable. She is. She is. She is your sister. The chairman, she let is, me reiterate. She is my, my own sister. sister too. Thank you very much. So she is our, our thank sister. Thank you for giving me the protection. You are protected. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> she will remain my sister. In the executive summary uh, that is before me, and I believe all of us. I her hope are, uh, you won't uh, ask a question that will destabilize your sister. My sister will not be In the principle she, of she is comfortable. <laughs> Uh, I see in the, the IGR generated by the agency in the year from year 2015 is very less up to 2017. But 2017 uh, 2018, which is supposed to be an election preparation year of 20, 2019. Your revenue, despite the fact that everybody's attention on the preparation for election, but your revenue jacked up to 5.5 something billion. But immediately after the elections in 2019, is it crossed down to 1.5 billion? And it continues to go down until, okay, yes, in 2020, a little bit, okay, 3 point something billion still go down in 2021 is going up and down instead of from 2018 for you to consolidate and so continue what was the question honorable why what happens in between that makes the igr to have that disparities okay yeah in year out my second question in year 2022 the audited account in the in the audited account before us, we observed that the sum of 270 million was recorded as receivable and termed Presidential Committee on Sales of Federal Government Properties. Provide details of these properties. Second, who exactly is going to pay NIPC? this sum of 270 million, who is going to pay? Provide full, uh, All right. full is briefs it, is it, is for it? this 270 million. All right, thank you. So that the committee will Thank you. Madam, have just something add to something to the first question he asked uh, about the disparity in your income. Add something to that. You let, let us know what are the various sources of these uh, monies that you generate, what constitute the various heads of the money that you generate. And then uh, finally, um, thank you, my chairman. Madam, please, the fixed uh, asset schedule of year 2022 shows that the NIPC had disposed an asset worth 13 million. I don't know if you have, or you can provide the approval for disposal and evidence of valuation report done by Ministry of Works, or evidence of advertisement, the auctioneering processes, a payment of returns to the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation. Thank you. All right, so Madam, please, let's allow her to respond to this one first. Uh, yes, please. Thank you, um, Mr. Chair, for allowing me to breathe. Um, so, um, honorable members, I, let me just caveat my, my introduction. I was only recently appointed to this position about four and a half months ago. Having said that, I have tried as much as possible to familiarize myself with the information at hand. 
But um, at some point, if I can just crave your indulgence, I will defer some of the questions to my dear friend. Yes, absolutely oh, right. Oh, That's oh. why we let them also take oh, the oath with you. Okay, sir. It's just to... So any of them can, can oh, answer oh, any questions. Okay, sir. Okay, so I'll answer the ones that I, um, that I think I have the answers to. Um, the first thing I said, uh, Honorable, my, my brother, <laughs> It, when I looked at the sheet myself, I was concerned about the disparity and the flip-flop. So it transpires that at some point... Um, you decided to start from the rear, have you? <laughs> it's good. Well, I was answering the ones that I can answer. Oh, all right, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yes, all right. I understand that. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, the, the Commission's IGR is largely generated from the pioneer status applications and also business registration. Those are the two sources of income that the, that the Commission has. At some point, um, the, the government suspended. There were a lot of uh, um, uh, petitions about the pioneer status. So government suspended the, the pioneer status uh, program, so to speak. So revenue dropped. And when it picked up, there was apparently um, a backlog. So that, uh, that, that explains the spike in 2018 why the revenue jumped up so um, because of the, the the embargo that was lifted on that um, i don't think it had anything to do with the elections so um, the disposal of assets i'm i'm not um i don't know what that particular asset is or was but we will find the information and we will submit it that is for 13 million the 270 million about uh federal government property. The commission at the time was trying to purchase a building in Lagos to have a, a, an office in Lagos State. And apparently it was offered a property through the gov federal government disposal of assets and they paid. The, apparently the uh, process was never completed. The money is still hanging. The property was never handed over and it is something we're actively pursuing to see how we can either get a refund or property. So as we stand, we actually do not even have an office in Lagos. So that's what that payment was for. Um, there was also a question about uh, whether the 49 million uh, referred to on page 265 has been paid. I believe it has. And the receipt is in this bundle somewhere. I will find the exact page and, and uh, bring it up. Um, the difference between the remitter and, which was I think the first question, the remitter um, reports and, and NIPC's uh, own calculations. I believe what I've been told about that is that at some, sometimes remitter deducts, uh, the, there's an automatic deduction by the federal government once the money's hit the account and sometimes they wait for us to remit. So there's been some inconsistency. And I think in that process, there has never actually been a reconciliation that has been done to find out where and how. There was, for example, one year where there was just a deduction of one billion without any explanation. I asked my DFA and he said he wrote remitter to ask them for this proof or this line by line deduction and also the payments that have been received as well as the deductions that have been made but they have not um, they have not provided that information when was that letter written you have a microphone sir you have a microphone uh, for that that was question one and two uh, yeah, that was that was question one and two, sir. Actually, the the true position is that what we brought you here is area that relates to our revenue. Hello, did you hear the question? Yes, sir. When was the letter written? Your own letter okay, to remitter. Th okay, to remitter. It was only three days ago when we had. You know, here when we, we came here the first time, we were stepped. Down. You wrote them three days ago. To give us because we we came we came here with the revenue that relates to what we are doing. But okay, the just I, I understand you. When you came here, you saw what we were asking others. Then we now and then you wanted to be you wanted to be better prepared. Yes, sir. Okay, so, so you can't say you wrote them and they have not replied. If you write a letter no, three days ago, maybe it's just been delivered even to them now. So let me explain. Explain. So we, if we had a, 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 an officer that's in charge of our office. We called him. But unfortunately, has left that place. They, they, they now gave us instruction to send them an email, which we now did on that Monday. 
whatever, because we try to get it from our own system, they are no more in the system again. So we are now waiting for... All right, I just wanted to know, I thought maybe you had written them long ago and they have not responded, so that we can ask you.